Hey everybody, welcome back to some more pickup videos, and this is another charity shop run, and I've got some more Blu-rays, yep, and I think it's again seven, so yep, seven goodies to show for you, and starting off with the first one is from Oxfam, I pay two ninety nine for John Wick, and it says Blu-ray and digital download, but I highly doubt we'll have the digital download, the back as well, John Wick, brilliant film, Literally, Keanu Reeves' best performance ever. Don't kill a man's dog. Oh, it actually does have the ultraviolet. Jesus Christ, okay. I'm going to try that because you never know, it might work. And then there's the disc. Which, again, the Blu-ray disc isn't my most favourite. When I first looked at it, I thought, nah, it's like niche. But what can you do? Uh, this next one went down in price. Yeah, this is Battleship. And this one was first on for $3.99. Then it went down to $1.99. Then they had it for a sale price of 99 p So when I saw it for 99 p I thought, you know what? I get it. You know, I, I wasn't a really big fan of Battleships. I really wasn't. And I thought it could be something. But I highly doubt it. It says, like, the Ultraviolet, which includes a copy of the movie to download, which is... Pretty good, but it's going to be expired anyway. And I love how the top says Blu-ray, digital copy, and ultraviolet. So it has a backup disc as well, which is really quite nice. And this is the back for you all, which again is really good. I love how my camera picks this all up in details. So you can just make out the explosive ex like extras and all that. Epic. Alright, let's pull this open. Let's... Show you the back in case you want a better good read because sometimes slip code can be pretty hard. Uh, let's bring this open and we have the code right here. And then we have the Blu ray disc right there. So I thought there would be like an extra copy because this is digital copy and ultraviolet. Normally they're the same thing. So why would you need to say ultraviolet when there's already the digital copy? I'm very confused about that. I'm I'm not really going to be too much disappointed about this, but yeah, you know, it is what it is. But yeah, I can't believe I managed to get this for 99p. <laughs> uh, Save myself a lot of money. Next, we have Scream. Yes, that is right. I picked up Scream 2 dollars uh, Literally, this, this had no price on it, and I, I went up to the camera, and I was going to buy it regardless. And he looked online, I'm guessing he looked by eBay prices, which I don't care because it's going to a good cause. But it was two ninety nine, which I thought I was thinking had probably about eight ninety nine, probably probably that mark. But two ninety nine for Scream and Scream by God is the best one of my best horrors I like watching. Okay, people say it's not like a good good horror, but it's still one of the one one of one of the scary horrors that I quite like. Yeah, there's some funny stuff in there, but Scream just Scream's just my cup of tea, especially with the Netflix series. So yeah, that's a nice little close-up, and then let's have a look at the back. Oh, so nice. And then let's just open it up and have a look at the disc. The disc, the disc is niche, like it's just not that good. Like I thought it was going to be epic, but <laughs> Blu-ray discs don't never do justice. It's just plain and basic and someone did warn me well, when you go to blu-ray you're going to be disappointed with the artwork because i love my artwork and you know so far i don't really find any good artworks with blu-rays as opposed to dvd next blu-ray we have diary of the dead uh, from oxfam again this was 3.99 a lot of people don't know about this one but it's a george R R romero's one which again is not one of the most favourite one of his, but I still enjoyed it regardless. You've got to be really in one of those moods to watch it, if that makes sense. But I got my head around it, and I could still find it acceptable. And it has a bunch of extra features as well. And then there's the Blu-ray R, which again, that looks pretty good. I quite like that one. Makes it pop out as compared to all the other ones I've seen. Moving on we have Troy which is the director's cut. Had this on DVD for a long time. I think I had it on VHS before that 
one of the most favourites. It could possibly be one of Brad Pitt's best, I would say. Probably in my eyes. I'll say it's one of his best. Most people wouldn't agree with me on that one, but for one ninety nine, still a good score to pick up. And turn on to the back, we have all all of those special features, even the audio and subtitles. It's quite a lot on there. All right, let's open this up and have a look at the disc. Turn around, and there's the disc. Not bad, not bad. But, you know, it could be better. All right. Next we have Viking, the darkest, I think this is Darkest Day? Yeah, Darkest Day. It's 99 p It looked kind of interesting from the front cover and the back, and that was the main reason why I picked it up. There will always be battlefields, but this one kind of looked like, you know, one of the, one of the ones I would have been interested in. There's always a lot of battlefield movies, but... Depends which one you're into. This, 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 just by reading onto the back and the images, is what sold it for me. Just gonna pull this out, and I'm gonna show you the disc right there. Probably gonna be a low budget one, but it's like Dragon Age. Like that one was low budget, but I, I still enjoyed it. I, I still thought it was all right. You know, some sometimes people like low budget. Some people. Don't have time for them because they think it's beneath them, but I thought it was okay. And ending off, we have The Last Stand, which is quite funny. One of the most favourite movies to watch. I think when you have Johnny Knoxville team up with Arnold Schwarzenegger to make a comedy movie, it, it does work. People would say it's funny. Some people would say it's more like an action film. But I say it's kind of like an action comedy because you just have that stupid side of Johnny Knoxville with a professional side of Arnold when he's just like you get this absolute brilliant film and I'm surprised it didn't get like a sequel or another type of team up between these two look at the ratings on them look at that 5, 4, 4, 199 as well I really quite like this one and even has special features which I really quite like looking into did have some funny scenes which I really did like and then there's the Blu-ray one. I had this on DVD for a while and I thought I will upgrade eventually. And that time has come. So that is it. That is all the pickups from the charity shop from Oxfam that I managed to get. I hope you guys have enjoyed this one. If you did, please leave a like. Subscribe to my channel. Support it by turning on the notification by taking that bell icon. And I'll see you in the next awesome pickup video. But until then, take care.